here with our partners uh, from the Friedrich Naumann Foundation and we're having a freedom seminar uh, mostly to celebrate their 50 years of advocating for freedom across the globe um, since their 55 years of existence. We are continuing the conversation around um, freedom and where South Africa is actually in, in, in its whole process in, in achieving freedom. Where does political freedom end and economic freedom begin? If I may speak freely or worship freely, why may I not trade freely or work freely? If there can be a free market in ideas, why not in goods and services, including labor? The important point is that no right can really be upheld and the guarantees mean little without respect for the rule of law. $5,000 annual income if you live in one of the least free countries in the world. And you're likely to have something averaging $37,000 a year if you live in a free country. So there we show that income certainly correlates with economic freedom. The IT industry is a model of how innovation can succeed, but it's also a great lesson in how often innovation fails and ought to fail. No single investor, and least of all government, would have been capable of picking winners to subsidize or picking losers to abandon to their fate. I share with the late Mr. Nauman the firm belief that a functioning democracy needs politically informed and educated citizens. We really hope to see a South Africa where people are not only able to vote for who they please, but that they're also able to access jobs and other forms of wealth creation through economic freedom that will give real mobility to their political freedoms. Thank you very much for doing me the great honor of being the speaker at the Friedrich Naumann Stiftung's celebration of 50 years of international work. And that is a milestone for the world. The open opportunity system of empowerment works. A closed crony system of outcomes manipulation does not work. 50 years of the Friedrich Naumann Stiftung is a huge milestone. For as long as I've been active in politics, for so long do I remember the firm friendship of the Friedrich Naumann Stiftung. They were there to help me with advice when I was really battling to hold together a seven-party coalition and taught me everything that I got to know about coalitions. They've helped us develop policy, they've helped us train activists, they've helped us develop our public representatives. They've really been there through thick and thin especially in the bad times. They are not fair weather friends. They are there for the values and the principles and their input has made it possible for South African politics in one generation to shift away from the politics of racial nationalism to the politics of ideas and principles and values. And that is the greatest tribute one can pay to the Friedrich Naumann Stiftung. I think certainly for South Africans, last uh, 25 years have been remarkable in the progress that the country's made. And as we look forward to our next 25 years and the Nauman Foundation looks forward to its next uh, 50 years of freedom, I think the uh, basis has been laid, the foundation has been laid to be confident about what lies ahead for us. Mm -hmm.